In this video, we are going to show how to maintain and troubleshoot a network using the ping feature of the Pinger Pro from Cyber Data Systems. Connectivity problems are responsible for more than 50% of all network trouble calls. Troubleshooting should always begin with a link test and a ping test to verify connectivity. These tests can be conducted quickly and the results are easy to understand. Pressing the ping button on the home screen of the Pinger Pro brings up the ping screen. Pressing the play button begins the ping test using a profile selected by the user. You can follow the progress of the test by watching the status bar at the top of the screen. Once the test is complete, the dialog area of the screen shows the test results. The control icons at the bottom of the screen provide the user with the option to rerun the test, scroll up or down, change settings, save test results, or exit to the home screen. The first thing we check on the ping screen is the link status. The green check mark indicates that we have a link and pressing the button gives the link information including the speed and duplex mode that the Pinger Pro has linked at and the capabilities of the connected device. Additionally, it shows the MAC address of the Pinger Pro and that the IP address was assigned by DHCP. The subnet mask, gateway IP address, and DNS are also displayed. Next, check the ping screen to determine which IP addresses responded and which ones did not. A green check indicates a ping response and a red X means no response. Ones that do not respond are good candidates for assigning to new network devices that require fixed IP addresses. Pressing any of the IP addresses that did respond to the ping shows the IP and MAC address of the ping responders as well as the number of pings sent, lost, or corrupted and the round trip time. The round trip time can be used to diagnose problems. Times less than a second are typical, and times greater than a few seconds may indicate high levels of traffic on the network or a misconfigured device. Pressing the clone button assigns the MAC address identified by the selected ping responder to the Pinger Pro. This allows the Pinger Pro to emulate a specific device to verify network access and proper operation. From the ping screen, you can quickly change to another profile to run additional tests by pressing the settings icon. The settings icon also allows you to customize the ping data that you want to display. For example, you can select show hostname, show Mac, and replies only, which will display only those devices that responded to the ping and the results now look like this. The traceroute diagnostic is performed by selecting one of the ping results. Traceroute provides a method for viewing the path that packets travel between two devices. Each hop is shown with the transit time for the hop. This information is used to identify low bandwidth links or heavily congested routers that can cause poor network response times. To save the test results, press the Save button. The Pinger Pro will automatically generate a file name consisting of the date and time by pressing the Save button, or you can enter your own file name by pressing Save As. The ping packet and number of pings can be customized to assist in your troubleshooting. A burst of pings anywhere from a single ping up to 1000 pings can be set or you can ping continuously. A continuous ping can be used for identifying intermittent problems or adding traffic to test network performance. The payload size can be adjusted from 56 bytes to 1516 bytes as well as the interval between pings and the timeout duration for the ping response. A VLAN tag and priority number can also be added to the packet. Once the ping parameters have been specified, the ping targets are selected. Ping a single, a group, or a range of IP addresses. Even the entire subnet can be selected. Link and ping tests are powerful diagnostic tools that can quickly identify the most common network problems and help maintain the highest level of network performance.